experience of every generation is yours. On the History Channel, where the past comes alive. History fraternities were the outsiders, and if not the outsiders, the enemy. People have always wondered whether or not they should be here. Many of them had to meet in secret. Fraternities were formed to create worlds of private pleasure. Advantages of fraternity are who throws the best party. That means who has the best music, who has the best looking women. I kind of felt like I walked in there, I was kind of like a trophy girl. And guys were kind of checking me out. We're geared to hang in packs like dogs, and that's fraternity. I joined a chapter that hazed. One person who gets hurt is one person too many. It doesn't take a whole bunch of people uh, to make it a big, bad problem. Fraternities are an easy target, you know, to kind of knock down, and all I would say is that it was a rich time for me. It's more of a lifetime thing. You know, even in death, we have an Omega chapter because, you know, we don't die, we just change chapters. College fraternities are as American as apple pie. They've been a little part of campus life for almost two centuries. Perhaps it's the girls and the parties, or perhaps because fraternities may be the key to power and success. We're about to take a rare inside look at how this unusual world of privilege began and how it operates today. Fraternity is another of the institutions that perpetuate privilege in society. There's a vast alumni network that you can tap into. It, it can absolutely uh, help shape your career. For many of the members, a college fraternity is much more than a good old boys network. It is the ultimate network. 19 of the last 32 U.S. presidents were members of fraternities. So are many current senators, congressmen, and Supreme Court justices, as well as one out of every four Fortune 500 CEOs. The bonds forged among these men all begin on a college campus. In a university situation, sometimes you can get lost. And to go someplace where everybody knows your name doesn't mean you have weak character, but it's a very gratifying, it's very gratifying to go from knowing no one to having the feeling that 50 people want to know you. Those bonds can last a lifetime and shape our politics, our economy, our culture, our future. You have a sense that you're a part of something that's been there? however many years, decades, or centuries the fraternity's been there. Some people are obligated to. Their parents make them. It's hard enough, I think, for anyone to deal with being away from home for the first time. But if you join a fraternity, just so much of, of that hard work is taken care of for you. You're growing all the time. And uh, the best way in the world to measure yourself um, is by other men. That's how we do it. First couple Coming of times the pledge class comes together to take on a project, it's chaos. No one knows how to do what. After a couple of, after a few times, you all gather together and you say, "All right, you know this builder over at Sonzo who can loan us this wood. Uh, Mark, you know this person who can get this for the party." And all of a sudden, you start coming together, and people you scatter people out, you delegate, and you come together, and all of a sudden, you're, you're a hell of a lot more efficient at getting a job done. Whether it's building a float, cramming for exams, or sharing a meal, the bonds these pledges forge today are ones that will last. You talk about anything with anything and everything with one of your pledge builders, you know, it goes from class to, you know, I'm worried about this, to, you know, I think I want to start dating this girl. I mean, I had too good of a time last night, I shouldn't have done that, you know. These are the guys that are going to be in their weddings. These are the guys that are going to be godfathers to their children. The opportunities for jobs is unbelievable. If you've got a child and he's interested in something, your alumni are going to find a way to get him to the very best that they can. The networking is amazing.